Hey guys, and once again, welcome back to Let's Play Super Meat Boy. I just did another take, but you would have been totally oblivious to the fact if I hadn't told you. <laughs> so, we're going to tackle the uh, the dark factory, um, the dark salt factory, really, um, which is fairly difficult. We start off with a, actually a really hard level, not because of, you know, it's just like two really difficult parts in this, but it's at the beginning and at the end, which is annoying. All you need to do is hit that, there we go, and then these parts here are fairly easy just to run around and get the key, run back, down here, easily clear that, and then this part up here is really difficult, or not, not, not that difficult, but you need, you need, you need some perfect timing to get past that blink cannon thing, what do we call it? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Trademark Keith screen right there. There we go. That's a bit, that's fairly decent. Yeah, if you're gonna see grade A's because I got grade A in all of them, as we learned last time, yeah, just because it pops up doesn't mean that I'm actually getting a grade A there. Oh, that was bad. I like this level because everything is just jumps and perfectly timed and stuff like that. It looks looks sort of beautiful when you just jump from one side to the other here. And then, whoop, bam! I like that. That's the, that's the kind of level I like. Now, in the Dark South Factory, these levels are not, not too difficult. There's to, usually there's like one really hard jump or two hard jumps in. Ah, oh shit! In every in, in each of the levels here, you need to plan ahead a bit for some of them, but they're not that difficult. It's just basically in the end they will mess you up completely. I'm not going for part time. Shit, there we go. <laughs> I've got to stop saying, there we go. Uh, bollocks that one. This one is just about timing your jumps and your runs and then your falls and then, and then getting back here as well, you know. Oh, that was bad. Oh, no. But uh, it, the levels are fairly diffi uh, difficult and quite challenging, really. Yes, it's just about timing there. And then this part you can get a little breath, but you need to hit that. And notice there's like conveyor belts at the bottom, so if you don't hit her, you need to run immediately because they're super fast. And um, they're gonna kill you off, throw you right into the gutter. This level is hard because it's difficult to. Um, to sort of get this jump perfect. Uh, you can't just drop down on the conveyor belt. You need to get right at the right spot. And that's, you know, I need like half a meat foot, half a steak lower than what I hit there. Oh, God. That's gonna be too hard. Oh my God, I got the bandage. Can we do it then? Can we do it? That would be neat. Sweet. <laughs> okay, don't mess this up. So when you get that key, that unlocks that one. You can fly all the way up here, and you just need to not fuck up. Bandage get! Nice. Oh, that's sweet. This one is, oh my god, so annoying because you need to... We've seen it before, and last time it wasn't difficult. You need to jump up here, otherwise you're going to hit that um, salt at the top. I need to go all the way back, get the key in. Oh my god, I need to go up again. I just had Fraps lag. Every time Fraps starts a new video or segment, um, it lags. Splat. So it's all about timing. <laughs> so I can do it once, and then I should be able to do it, you know, again. But it's just about, you know, you get performance anxiety and <laughs> and for some reason you just mess it up. This level shouldn't be difficult, but obviously it is. I've been playing a lot of Super Meat Boy, which is great. It's going to help out with the uh, Portal 2 ARG thing. Man, can you? I can't wait for Portal. 
and and I've been, you know, you probably have seen what people are doing. You know, you can if you play the games in the potato sack, you can help unlock the game um, faster. And a lot of people have been working on that. There's been you know, gathered like over 300,000 tomatoes, uh, potatoes at this time, and uh, it's just incredible the amount of work that people are putting into it. This level is not too difficult, but it requires you to, um, to time your jumps a bit. And as you can see, to, ah! <laughs> at my first first glance, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go there," but then that drops the key right there in the middle, and you need all four keys, so you're screwed. It, there was a fun level to try and figure out because you need to time everything really well. And then this one, you can't do. Oh, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Um, for the second one. You need to. Ooh, that's gonna be too tight. Nope. <clears throat> so you really need to not overshoot anything here. You need to with the conveyor belt here, just like the level before. The level before. You need to really time everything perfectly. And I oh, I'm not gonna go for that bandit there. What some people seem to forget is that you can actually jump on the conveyor belts to stop sliding which is fairly helpful. That is, if you know how to play the game. <laughs> like that, and then you can go up. And especially for this, because you need to catch it like on the middle around here. And there we go. Splat. Meat sauced. This one is one of those that are featured in the uh, trailer. And it's not. it looks difficult. It's not that difficult, but it does require some timing on your part here. And this one, you know, just jumping in. Most of the time you can just scoot past there, and then down there, and then... Ah, in your face, rocket launcher! <laughs> um, this one is it's fairly difficult because it requires a few perfect jumps there. And then... And then you need to go up here. Just cheat it there. Ah and all we need now is a perfect jump to the bottom. We're done. That's going fairly well. This one is, I thought, you know, this was one of the harder levels when you played them on, on normal because you were new to the game. But this is actually one of the easiest levels in the whole level pack. I should just shut up and play the game, really. Because whenever I say something easy, it's easy, I just tend to die immediately. I did it wrong. I need to go all the way to the wall there. Give it time to just shoot at me. No, this is gonna be bad. There we go. <laughs> um, this one is a fun level. I'm gonna show you two ways of doing it. That's not how to do it. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, see, I lost my stride there. There's two ways. Actually, three ways of doing this. You can complete this in three seconds if you're really lucky with the jump. I haven't been, so... But I'm gonna show you the real way to do it. If, if, if the gods are willing, I mean. And um, it's fairly fun, but um, obviously you're being chased by Sauce, which adds a little bit of a stress element here. Ah! Lots of salt. Lots of salt. Blood pressure, Keith. Blood pressure. Need to time it and then. Tip. And slide, slide, and shuffle, and slide. Now this is the tricky part. We need to jump that, jump that, and then just hit bandit go. Now the second way of doing this is. Requires a little bit of timing, a uh, little bit of precise jumping. But let's see if we can't manage to do that. Shit! No, that's not going to do it. Need to catch the jump just under the um, the uh, hole of salt there. Nope, that's not good enough. There we go, and then you can just jump right over there. Easy part time. I'm done. But uh, that's not fun. 
This level, oh, you remember this from the last period. This, I thought this was impossible, and it's, it is fairly difficult. I mean, oops. But it's doable. I tried a number of ways to jump it. I think I just messed it up for myself there. It's all about in the floor, the jump. Take a break, jump, 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 jump. Oh. He jumps, slow down, jump, keep jumping. And don't do that, idiot. Then jump across, and then, nope, I did it too late. Take a break, jump up there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh god. Well, these levels are hard. I mean, what do you expect? This is the dark world after all. No, I missed the key. So there's not really that many times you can get the key. So you really need to... To time it perfectly, you know? Obviously, I'm very bad at doing this that. Well, and then there's the sauce, the rocket, the sauce at the bottom, the sauce at the top. Getting the key. Oh man. She was right there. She was right there and we would have been done with that level. Just past it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I get so excited. I completed it. Oh god, this level is it's not difficult, you know, there, it, you might feel a bit stressed, but there's actually plenty of time to complete this. I mean, just... Um, what you need to know is that you can, you can slide down past the, um, the salt to the left there. And then up. Take your time. The hard part comes now, because you need to hit this part down here. And you need to scoop past there, and then up here. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it that fast. Um, this one is annoying as hell. Because you need to... Oh shit. You need to get the key from the bottom there, and there's all these... I hate these one block wide gaps of having to hit that. And it's really just difficult to, to time it perfectly. Like that. Ah! <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it would be so much easier if I just had a controller. If I actually bought a controller and just... And then just... I'm gonna miss this up for sure. Yep. I could feel the frap slack, so I was like, yeah, this is gonna be bad. I don't, know, I don't think you can see it really when you render it. It's just that need to record Super Meat Boy in 60 fra uh, frames per second. Damn it! Um, and whenever Fraps lags, so, so, so you set up Fraps to do that. Otherwise, if you record it at 30 frames per second or 25, it will it will slow down the whole game, which obviously would make it, this game you know a lot easier. But um, yeah. <laughs> but that wouldn't be fun. I mean, you wouldn't want to play. Half-Life at half-speed, Portal 2 at half-speed, you know, that wouldn't be fun. <sighs> so, whenever Fraps resets, it actually resets down to, um, I think, 25 frames per second, at least it drops it a little bit. Yeah. Not gonna go for that bandage there. Uh, oh, right, this one. <laughs> this one is actually fairly difficult. I restarted it because, again, with the jumps and the perfect timing and stuff like that, Damn it! Um, I've been playing these levels so much that I know how to time the jumps at least somewhat successfully. No, that was unfair. No, why are you doing that? Okay, well maybe we can cheat. No, we couldn't. I was thinking about going from the. This is so much easier with a double jump character, as far as I can tell. But I am sort of 
hell bent on completing these levels using only Meat Boy. I mean, it, it's fine to use special characters if you like that, but you know, for like bandage hunting or if you really need part time, I've done that for, for a few levels to get the part time. Use the fly wrench in one of the um, the normal rapture levels, I think, just to otherwise you couldn't really. It was not nearly impossible to get the part time on that. There we go, and then jump. Ooh, that was close. <clears throat> but I want to complete the um, the levels here with Super Meat Boy, otherwise I wouldn't be true to the game, I think. Um, I've seen how to get that bandage, but I haven't actually been able to, to do it very well. Ooh, that was close. Um, the only tricky part here is this part there, but oh, well. It's the first try? Yeah, that was the first try. Well, not first try, I mean. And oh my god, this level is difficult. These cannons fire like every... Yeah, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Can we complete the level then? Can we complete the level? Oh. These cannons fire every like half a second or so. And they are really fast. There's two of them, so that doesn't make anything make it any better. Ah, shit! <laughs> it's really all about... It's not luck. I wouldn't say it's all about luck, because obviously it's not. It's it's carefully scripted. If you did everything, the same thing every single time, and the same thing would happen. Obviously, shit. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> but, you know, one millimeter off, one... The height of a stake off, and then... Man, that, that thing, I can't believe I survived that long. And then I messed it up. That would have been... God like this, but no. Oh. Um, this level is actually not as hard as one might think. It's just a matter of uh, controlling the, your descent here and then just find the right time to sort of get in there. Ah. Um, obviously, as you notice, the blocks at the bottom disappear, which is fairly, makes everything fairly difficult. But then once you're here, you just need to survive and, and avoid plates here for a few seconds. And then, bam. Dude, right, you'll get the power time no matter what. This one is a fun one. Um, a lot easier than I thought originally. Because once you do that, it won't hit you! Look at that! No, 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 no. Oh, gotta be careful not to break that. And then, uh, that's not good. How do we fix that then? You get the key. I'm not gonna go get the bandage. Oh no. There we go. So that that actually cost me a lot of trouble. I ran back and forth, and it's just like one of those three drunk jumps or something like that, and then that's it. You're safe from the rockets. And it, and it can hit you the second time. One of the things I learned from doing it many, many times. Oh my god, we're actually at the end right now. I want to show you there's two ways of doing that. You can either either go by that and then try and time the jump. But what I prefer is getting hit by a rocket. And then once you do that, you do that. And it does the jump for you. I can't believe we're already at the end here. But, you know, the video might not last, uh, might not stop for another 10 minutes because this level is really difficult. And all because of the part in the end there. Oh. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Everything is difficult. <laughs> I can't wait for Portal 2! Oh my god! It's gonna be awesome! Um, I don't have all the games in the potato sack, so I haven't been able to really help, but I can help out playing Super Meat Boy. Unfortunately, they haven't focused on Super Meat Boy. If you know, if you don't know, if we uh, play the games in the potato sack on Steam, um, we helped release Portal 2 sooner, and um, when you play the game enough, it'll sort of unlock CPUs for that yeah, game here. And, okay, I'm gonna shut up because I need to concentrate on this. No. <clears throat> so the more time you, you know, it's it's like we need 30,000 hours spent playing Super Meat Boy in total to unlock it. And then you can sort of track um, how much the game has been played and how many people are playing it right now. And there's been a lot of work gone into this 
especially for, you know, and then there's the potato factor. The more potatoes that people, the community as a whole has collected, the, 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 the more an hour will count for. So 300,000 potatoes collected in the, um, from the games in the potato sack times the amount of hours spent playing the games in the potato sack. When a game has been played enough, it will be like completed and then uh, Gladys will take down like a like an hour or 50 minutes of the, uh, the countdown timer for, for Portal 2. And uh, so far we have, or we, they have uh, done three level, three games here. Ah, there we go. <laughs> God. Uh, three level, uh, th four games actually. Um, and Super Mo Meat Boy is not one of them. They, they're only, it's only like 25% uh, progress. So all of this might be wasted if they don't choose to go for that, to focus on Super Meat Boy, um, because you know, then it, it doesn't count if it doesn't get to 100%. So yeah, I didn't get the part time there. I did do that early on, um, and there we go. That's it. That's actually all of the um, yeah, yeah. all the Dark South Salt Factory levels here. That didn't really take very long. Oh, 15 minutes or so. You want to go check out Hell? Dark Hell? Just for a few levels, really. I'm gonna get a cigarette now. I've earned it. So, Dark Hell is dark. I've done these. Let's just uh, try that one. Okay, so I guess you need to find out. <laughs> Right, I just don't know what to do. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, we need to go up there and then. Uh, surely that's what we really need to do. I like this this what level in the dark in the light world, but not in the dark world is obviously pain in the ass. Some of the hell levels are hellish. Ah. So, well, we just need to do the same again. Ah. Bulldog shit. See? Not bullshit. Yet. There's like smoke in front of the, uh, the monitor. I can't see a thing. Why are you going that way? It's usually away from the screen. Hold on. Don't smoke, kids. It's just going to ruin your playing time. Also, your mom's going to hate you for it. And they won't buy you the driver's license. My parents tried to bribe me for that. If you don't smoke before you're 18, we'll give you a driver's license. That didn't happen. Now I have to take the bus. Don't smoke, kids, so you'll have to take the bus. That's If, if, any, if you can take anything with you from my Let's Place, let that be it. There's, ah, there's weird people at the bus. And myself included. If, and if you're watching Let's Place, chances are you'll be a weird person too. I'm just in a suicide mode right now. Why do I keep doing the same thing? It's the smoke, damn it. Yeah. Actually, I think this would be so much easier with a double jump character. Let's just have some fun. I tried unlocking the kit yesterday, but oh my god, that's so difficult. Oh, do. Uh, the kit is the ultimate cheap character because, well, not, well, me meat ninjas, I guess. What the fuck? Uh, because he runs fairly quickly. And, oh, I can't do a, a saw jump there. Well, I guess I don't have to jump to a cross there. I just need to. Oh my god, Fraps lag. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, I don't think we're going to complete this level before I give up and destroy my keyboard. But oh my god, Portal 2. I can't wait. It's like, maybe with a bit of luck with the gaming stuff, we'll have it out. Ah, we'll have it out Monday instead of Tuesday, which would be fairly sweet. And obviously, I am I am obviously going to do a, a let's play of it. I've been waiting so long. 
I'm a bit sad that I can't um, can't finish the um, Assassin's Creed Let's Play before because that would be neat to just sort of have that as a close chapter there. No, Akmo, you failed me. Just watching. Um, but the assassins, I'm, I'm, I'll give you a spoiler, there's 38, uh, well, don't worry, I wouldn't spoil the game, but there's 38 episodes in the As Let's Play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, so I think I'm uploading episode, what, 31, 32 today, isn't it? Duh. Uh, so we're, we're fairly close. If you want to help out, unlock Portal 2 faster. Get the potato sack. Right now they're playing um, Cox, I think. This is the game they're focusing on. So they have a lot of people playing that, so we can get completion for that quicker. And um, I don't have that. Um, I only have Super Meat Boy. Um, they're not focusing well on Nisha as well. They're not focusing on an Amnesia and I and I doubt they're gonna they're gonna do it because Imagine several thousand people playing in each at the same time. The force would go crazy with, oh my god, I just shit my pants. Ah, come on. Oh god. I'm not going to give this up. So, if you want to help, check out the, uh, the, the Portal 2 uh, you know, discussion forums on Steam. There's a lot of information there. Oh, that's an easy way to do it. Is that really how we do it? Yep. There you go. Great day as well. Using a cheap character. So when I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna <laughs> look at the little Agnos. Uh, I'm gonna do this with Super Meat Boy. I am determined to do it. It's possible. You see that? But um, that'll be for next. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.